welcome you all to the Hatemi Awards. And uh, before we get started with the Hatemis, we do have uh, some uh, very special awards presented by Athletic Director Jeff Altier. Mr. Altier? Well, welcome again to the Hatemis. Um, Shannon and I want to tell you, I thank you for inviting me to be part of this and allowing me to be part of the presentation. You know, I have the greatest job in the world. I get to come to work every day and work and do things so I have the pleasure of watching all of you compete. And it truly is uh, my honor to be associated with each of you, uh, your exemplary students, your tremendous athletes, and I'll be honest with you, every day when I come to work, it is truly a pleasure for me. So I want to thank you and start this program. So to start off with, we have the Athlete of the Year. And I'm going to start with the female recipient of the Athlete of the Year, and that is Meredith Owen from the softball team. Our male recipient of the Athlete of the Year goes to Donald Payne from football. Donald, you want to come on up? Congratulations, Donald. You want to say anything? Sure. Our distinguished senior award, which goes to the male and the female senior who had the most uh, significant accomplishment and the career at Stetson. Uh, last year, the female recipient was Sasha Sims of women's basketball. Our distinguished senior male recipient goes to Robert Bruce from baseball. The scholar athlete, the female scholar athlete of the year goes to Sammy Smith from women's golf. And Andrea Snobble, uh, is there somebody from men's soccer to receive the male scholar athlete of the year? So there are two more leadership awards that we, we give out. The first one is called the Dale Melching Leadership Award. And Dale was a tremendous athlete at Stetson, and he ended up marrying his sweetheart from Stetson, who was also a cheerleader on the team. And years ago, uh, they wanted to give back to the university. And as you go through the Wilson Center, you'll see several of the classrooms and the exercise physiology lab and the weight room are all named in their family's honors, as well as Melching Field at Conrad Park is named in their honor. Uh, so Dill Melching Leadership Award, the female recipient of the Dill Melching Leadership Award goes to Meredith Owen from softball. And the male recipient of the Dill Melching Leadership Award goes to Chester S.B. from tennis. Chester, I know you're here. Thank you very much for this award. Uh, thanks to the team, men's tennis, uh, you guys are like my brothers. Women's tennis, you guys are awesome too. And thanks so much for organizing this night. Thank you. And the uh, final department awards are the Wendell Gerard Senior Award, which we announced uh, last year at Convocation. Uh, but the recipients for those two awards, uh, for the female recipient was Meredith Owen from softball, and then Robert Bruce from baseball. Thank you. <laughs> Lastly, we have a, a tribute uh, that we wanted to give to Coach Logan Fleck. Many of you know Coach Fleck who uh, passed away uh, this uh, last summer uh, prior to the season uh, beginning. Uh, coach Fleck was a, a good friend and um, a tremendous coach. He, uh, he had a, a different way at looking at the world and one in which I appreciated very much. He was committed to Stetson and he was committed to the men's soccer team and we wanted to present to them a, a plaque uh, signed by, who is it signed by, Shannon? Everyone that's here tonight. Everyone that's here. We want to present that to the men's soccer team. So could we have a representative of the men's soccer team come up to receive it? Thank you. All right, I get the privilege right now of bringing up Mr. Brad Loki. Good evening, Hatters. All right, how are we tonight? Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to say welcome. And second, first and foremost, uh, thanks to the athletic director, Jeff Altier, President Wendley Libby Hat for having me, as well as uh, all of the sport coaches who I've had the privilege to serve over the last two years. 
But mostly, I want to thank you, the student athlete, for all the hard work and dedication that you guys put into doing what you do. And this year's uh, Hammer Strength All-American, this year's um, Meredith Owens. So tonight's Atlas Awards winners are Intern and Women's Tennis, Evelyn Lippinay. Sand Volleyball, Kristen Lind. Women's Lacrosse, Christina Loya. Women's Soccer, Autumn Matthews. Indoor Volleyball, Morgan Pouch. This year's first representative for cheerleading, Sierra Riley. Women's Golf, Claudia Redinger. Women's Basketball, Bree Saunders. Men's Tennis, Chester Espy. Baseball, not with us tonight, Mr. Mike Fernland. Men's Basketball, BJ Glassford. Men's Soccer, Paul Ladwig. Football, Keegan Tanner. Softball, Brittany Hahn. These are your 2013-14 Atlas Award winners. Thank you very much. Last but not least, I'd really like to thank the uh, Student Athletic Advisory Committee. They put a lot of work into this. I think it's a great tradition, and I hope it stays moving forward. Thank you so much. Okay, so now I'm gonna present the Hatter Challenge Cup. Uh, the Hatter Challenge Cup is given to an exemplary team that um, just kind of stands for everything that Stetson Athletics should be about. It's calculated based off of GPA, uh, attendance at SAC meetings and other SAC events like the Hattamies, and attendance at other sports games. So this year's Hatter Challenge Cup is given to women's golf. for the Hattamies, let's go, let's go. All right, Stetson. Great to be here. Uh, in all seriousness, we do have our first Hattamie Award. And uh, I'd like to bring up to present the best championship performance, Carmen Bernecker and Sean Gannon. The best championship performance is based on the Atlantic Sun and or the NCAA tournament. The nominees are... Women's basketball. Sand volleyball. Softball. Last but not least, women's golf. And the Hattamie goes to... <laughs> women's basketball. First off, we want to thank everybody that voted for us, but I want to give a big congratulations to Sam Volleyball and our softball team and our golf team for going out and winning. But we really appreciate all the votes, guys. Thank you. All right, now it's time for my favorite. Uh, it's the Blooper Award, and it's presented by Lizard Blackwell from lacrosse and Davion Belk from football. The blooper of the year is the craziest or most embarrassing play or act by a coach and or player. The nominees are... Softball. Lydia Kenny had a funny catch in the second game of regionals versus UF, where she ran all the way back to the fence to play a ball, then realized it was falling much shorter and sprinted to make a diving catch. Football. During a spring game, as a team ran out onto the field, Trevor Guy tripped and face planted onto the ground in front of all the fans. Man soccer. Chase Rogers had multiple own goals on the season. One in a matchup against JMU, which resulted in a 1-1 one -one tie, unfortunately. <laughs> Another in the game against Mercer. Women's tennis made a singing spoof video. Think you're going, baby? Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. <laughs> In our hearts in vain, we jumped, never asking why. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in love. All I wanted was to play. Women's soccer. Uh, the girls saran wrapped their teammates' belongings and turned their coach's office upside down. 
the coach then zip tied their cleats together for payback for the prank. You guys need a hobby. All right. And the nominee goes to Trevor Guy, football. Yeah. With uh, Mallory Tuhowski and BJ Glassford here to present the best dressed. With the hashtag, how to me best dressed, we asked all of you to look around and then vote for who you think looks the best tonight. After tallying the live Twitter feed, the winner is. Patrick Jackson. <laughs> There could be a lot of winners in this category, I'm assuming. Let's have up here Alessandra Kutz from Women's Golf and Julia Vandenberg, also from Women's Golf, to present Best Team Personality. The Best Team Personality recognizes the team that best exemplifies school spirit and support for other sports. The nominees are... Lacrosse supports other teams in their competitions and everyone loves their morph suits. Football, they are always loud and a presence when attending other sporting events. Indoor volleyball supports other sports at their competitions and strongly encourages athletes to support their fellow teams as well. And finally, men's soccer. They are very loud and supportive when attending other teams' games and bring a lot of energy to the crowd. And the head of me goes to men's soccer. All right, next up, everybody remembers what it's like to be a freshman. And with that in mind, that we've recognized now the female rookie of the year with presenters Kelsey Waters from softball and Ryan Powers from football. All right. For the female rookie of the year, um, this it goes to the first time Stetson student athlete who made the greatest impact on their team. And the nominees are Amber Porter, women's basketball. Alessandra Coots from Women's Golf. Tiffany Creamer, Indoor Volleyball. Jesse Tenbrook from Softball. Kaylee Anderson, Sand Volleyball. Isabella Fernandez, Women's Tennis. Clarissa Console, Women's Cross Country. Amanda Spring, Women's Cross Country. And the Hattamy goes to Amber Porter, Women's Basketball. All right, next up is the male athlete of the year with our presenters from women's soccer, Jenna Primo, and from cross country, Andrew Towns. Okay, uh, the male runner of the year, rookie of the year, goes to the first time Stetson student athlete who made the greatest impact on their team. Their nominees are? Brian Pegg with men's basketball. Taylor Cockrell, baseball. Donald Payne with football. Ryan Powers, football. Ken Tuan Smith with men's basketball. Davion Belk, football. And last but not least, Joe Barry with men's cross country. And the hat of me goes to. Brian Pegg with men's basketball. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, let's have uh, Emmy Wenzel and Andrew Rouse for Staff Member of the Year presentation. Staff Member of the Year is given to the staff member employed in the athletic department who goes above and beyond their job description to help student athletes. The nominees are James Stem, Chet Hessen, Nanette Ketchum, Josh Roberts, Brad Loki, Jamie Bataille, Andrew Cavacci, and Lauren Hunter. And the hat of me goes to Chet Hessen. Oh, hey, Adders. How are you? Uh, great to see you, even though I can't really see you right now. Um, good to be here. Uh, when Shannon Craighead, president of SAC, gave me a call and told me I won best hair, I was like, duh. I didn't even know if there's anybody else in that category. I mean, am I right? Am I right? Uh, no, but for real, in, in all seriousness, um, I'm truly honored 
and, and humbled to accept the award for funniest person uh, at at Stetson. Uh, it truly means a lot to me. So much, in fact, that uh, I actually have a surprise for you. Uh, I actually flew in to accept the award. I didn't tell anybody. So, to go along with this video, because I thought it would be awesome to do it anyways, uh, if, you, if you look up behind you, uh, up, up by the top rafters there, uh, there's a room where, where sports um, media communications is. Uh, on the count of three, I want you guys to all do it, and I'm going to walk down and come down here to the podium and accept this award. Okay, guys? Here we go. Ready? One. All right. Here we go. Two. Three. Here I am. <laughs> come on, guys. Oldest trick in the book. Looketh over there. Look. Made you look. Uh, pff, duh. That's why I win Funniest Award. Anyways, um, in seriousness, again... Uh, thank you so much for voting me staff member of the year. Again, humble and honored. Um, One more round of applause for Chet. <laughs> All right, next up, uh, we want to recognize player of the year. So now we've got Marissa Salazar and Patrick Jackson, our presenters. The player of the year recognizes the best play during a contest that impacted the outcome or was an amazing feat. The nominees are... Danielle Hermy with women's soccer. After being down 3-2 for nearly 20 minutes against Lipscomb in an important conference matchup, Amber Gross put the ball in the box to allow Danielle to head it in past the goalie to draw for the tie for the Hatters on the road. Mary-Kate O'Sullivan lacrosse scored the game-winning goal in a thrilling game against conference opponent Kennesaw State in overtime to give the Hatters their first A-Sun win of the season. Amanda Grimaldo with softball hit a walk-off double to win the conference championship, giving the team the automatic bid to NCAA tournament. JJ Bostic, men's soccer, headed in a ball from Rafael Centifani to give the Hatters a late lead that they would carry on to hand FGCU its first ace on loss of the season. Ken Twan Smith with men's basketball had a dominating one-handed alley-oop dunk off a pass from Ray Andrews in a game against BCU, which was featured on the ESPN Top 10. And the hat of me goes to... Amanda Grimaldo, softball. Oh Lord. Hey guys. Um, <laughs> I'm Amanda. You probably know me as Snoop though. Um, I just want to say thank you to God first and foremost for everything that he does for all of us student athletes and everybody here. Thanks to all my sisters, my teammates, always having my back and my coaches and the rest of you guys for always coming out and supporting us all the way through conference play. I know we all appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts, so thank you. All right, congratulations. Next up, uh, these guys, uh, every team has them, and they're invaluable for keeping things positive, helping team morale. Of course, we're talking about the team clown. So we asked via Twitter who you voted for for the top team clown. So to announce that winner, I've got Mallory Tahowski and BJ Glassford. With the hashtag Hatomi Team Clown, we asked you to vote in favorite for the funniest student athlete you know. And after tallying the Twitter feed, the winner is. One more time, please. <laughs> Morgan Hatch. Psych. Now I'm kidding, come on. Don't show the picture, please. Thank you. you want to, to present the Hatomy for most inspirational from lacrosse, Laura McDonald, and from men's tennis, Graham Ball. So the most inspirational award, eh? 
It recognizes a student athlete that leaves a lasting impression on the athletic student body. The nominees are Chase Rogers with men's soccer, Nathan Debu with men's tennis, Victoria Tricoli with women's soccer, Kurt Schluter, baseball, Sarah Reed with softball, Brian Pegg, men's basketball. All right, last one is Meredith Owen with softball. And the academy goes to Meredith Owen. All right, next up, another one of those memorable moments, talking about best upset. And the best upset presenters tonight, Kaylee Anderson from Sand Volleyball and from men's basketball, Kyle Sikora. The best upset is the come from behind or underdog victory by a team. And the nominees are? Indoor volleyball. Women's tennis. Women's basketball. Baseball. Cross country. Men's soccer. Softball. And the academy goes to? Baseball. 32 years ago, played baseball here. Jeff Altier, athletic director. On behalf of the baseball team, I think the truth is that everybody else here should have won this one, but thank you anyways. Let's talk about the best record-setting performance. Let's bring up Sam Ackle from lacrosse and Jonathan Jerozel from football. So the best record-setting performance goes to an athlete or a team that broke or set a record during play. The nominees are? Indoor volleyball. Softball. Women's tennis. Tyler Warmoth. Kaylee Gilday. Evelyn Lepne. Meredith Owen. And Amber Porter. And the academy goes to? Indoor volleyball. Thank you for everyone that voted for us, and thank you guys for coming out and supporting us throughout this year. It's been awesome looking out and seeing everyone cheering us on, and we come out and do the same for your sports. Thank you. Now it's time for Best International Athlete with our presenters Erica White from Volleyball and Chris Agare from Men's Soccer. The Best International Athlete Award recognizes a student athlete that has had great success in their sport and exemplifies what it means to be a hatter despite any cultural challenges and moves. The nominees are Duda Pavel from Women's Soccer, Carmen Berniker, Women's Soccer, Isabella Fernandez from Women's Tennis, Andrea Snobel, Men's Soccer from Germany. Ross Morrison from Men's Soccer. Graham Ball, Men's Tennis. Uh, back to Kristen Lind uh, from Sand Volleyball. And Claudia Rittinger from women, Women's Golf. And the Hatami goes to? Duda Pavel, Women's Soccer. Uh, hi. <laughs> I just want to thank my teammates and to everyone who voted for me. And Carmen, we're going to miss having you next year. Our gym went around. Thank you for everything. All right, now it's time for our Twitter award for best nickname. This ought to be good. McKenna Foster from volleyball, Griff Vari from football. Come on up. Uh, first off, I want to. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, I want to wish my best friend Dre Long a happy birthday. He turns 19 today. Yeah. OK. With the hashtag, hashtag had to be nicknames, we asked you to vote and favorite your most favorite awesome nickname for the team and student athlete. After tallying the live Twitter feed, the winner is Minoj Ketri, a.k.a. Nikki Minoj. Kind of looks like Nikki Minaj. Um, so as you know, we travel a lot, and you know, sometimes fans can be pretty obnoxious. And behind the bench at FIU, uh, someone said, hey, 
I got up and he said, hey, Nicki Minaj, sit down. And I looked at him and I said, I bet you took you all week to think about that. Thank you. Burn. Burn. It's time to see who's debonair with Shelby Connors from volleyball and Fletcher Eldemeyer from football for the Mr. Hatter presentation. Mr. Hatter is considered a standout student athlete in terms of performance, leadership, community service, academics, and spirit. The nominees are Kurt Schluter, baseball, Chester Espy, men's tennis, Derek Williams, cheer, and Johnny Straw, football. And the Hatemi goes to Derek Williams, cheer. Um, thank you to everyone who voted. Thank you guys for um, coming here. You guys are the real MVPs out there. All of you. All of you guys are the greatest. Uh, go Hatters. And finally tonight, for Miss Hatter, our SAC presenters, Shannon Craighead from Volleyball and Derek Williams from Cheer. Come on back up here, Derek. Miss Hatter is considered a standout student athlete in terms of performance, leadership, community service, academics, and spirit. The nominees are Ryan Ashburn, women's golf, Meredith Owen, softball, Katie DiGirolamo, sand volleyball, Rachel Luke, tennis, <laughs> Brittany Hahn, softball, Anya Erwin, women's tennis, and the Hatemi goes to. Meredith Owen, softball. Hey everybody. First of all, I just want to say, wow, I am so shocked and just amazed that y'all would consider me for all these awards. I'm really humbled by everything that y'all voted me for. And second of all, I just want to thank y'all so much. Um, this means so much to me and y'all really made my senior year something that I'll never forget. There's three groups of people I really want to thank. Um, first of all, Coach Griffin, Coach B, and Coach JJ. You guys took a chance on me and gave me an opportunity to come play at Stetson, and it has been the greatest experience of my life. Um, second of all, I want to thank Coach Loki. He pushed me and drove me every day in the weight room and taught me what it was to work hard for something, and he showed me that when you do work hard, it will pay off for you, and that is something that I will take with me for the rest of my life. And last of all, I just want to thank my team. They were beside me every step of the way, worked hard with me, pushed me. They were fantastic, and I miss them so much. Um, thank you guys so much. And last of all, I want to give my girl Demi Meza a happy birthday shout out. I hope you're really enjoying it. Even though I can't be there, I miss you guys so much. And good luck to all the sets and hours this year. All right, folks, we appreciate everybody coming out here tonight for uh, the Hatemies. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right, good job, everybody. And remember, you got each other. Let's support each other at our events, okay? Let's do that. Go Hatters. Good night, everybody.